Stella, turn around. You know, that is one nice thing about having a deaf co-worker. I actually came to tell you that you're being promoted to forklift operator. Really? That's awesome! I guess this means I can afford to set up this cutaway with a fancy new transition. Cutaway! All right, you beautiful bastard, show me what you got. I learned how to use stickers, and I can learn how to use this. Oh, this is awesome! Oh, guys, good, you're here. I am so excited. Guess what? Uh, I hope this isn't about your podcast again. Why? Did you finally listen to it? Halloween mask that I flip up to eat my candy hat. College guy wearing a pizza box hat. Blue hat. Forklift! Wow! I know, awesome, right? Oh, my God, I want to get on! Hold on. Uh, how's the weather down there, you short idiot? Should we tell him his pants fell off? No, let's wait a while. Well, you can't tell by the way I... You know, I always thought I could chug that, but I never tried, because I figured I couldn't lift it. Until now. Are you nuts? No way you can chug that. Hello, Cobra? I'd like to pay $1,300 for one month of health insurance. Hey, Lois, how much do you think a Sagittarius pays? I think you're in the wrong section, Peter. Oh, pardon me. Oh, looks like the Dodgers just cut Pena. Peter, we should talk about this job situation. Our savings are getting pretty low. It's been three weeks, and you haven't had a single job lead. Now, that's not true. I came really close with that job at the school. Maybe I should look for a job. Lois, I'll be damned if I will let my wife be a prostitute. What? No, I'll get a regular job. And that'll give me more time to focus on expanding my record collection. How's this one? Oh, Bach is very good, I recommend. Okay, I'll take these two. Very good, sir. Just make sure you finish on the Bach. Never finish on the Bussy. Where did you go to college? Groceries. Are you available to work weekends? Groceries. Very impressive. Hey, guys, great news. You're looking at the new assistant store manager of Stop and Shop. You got a job at the grocery store? That's great. If I'm going to be out of the house working, you're going to have to take over for me in the house. Spending the whole day taking Tylenol PMs and straddling the bath faucet? I mean, it can't be any harder than that job I used to have at the bowling alley. Bowlerama. Yes, we're open. Oh, absolutely. There is always a group of teenagers throwing the ball real hard and scaring everyone. No, there is no smoking, but we do let you smoke. Can't use the washing machine. It's really been acting up lately. What the hell? What's going on down here? Wow, Peter, the house looks amazing. Yeah, well, let's take off our shoes and try to keep it that way, huh? Well, what do you say I reward you for all your hard work? Jeez, Lois, is that all you think about? I'm tired. Come on, Peter. Get in here, Peter. Don't you want to have sex? Yeah, I don't think we've done it since I started working. Yeah, I guess you're right. I want to do it on top of the comforter. I don't care if we make streaks. Well, of course you don't. You're not the one who cleans it. Peter, just shut up and take me. How do I put this delicately? My hog cannot partake in the slop this evening. Are you having trouble getting ready? No, oh, Peter, you're up. That's not what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, it's nothing to get upset about. There's treatments available. We'll go see Dr. Hartman. I don't want to do that. I'm embarrassed. Is this doing anything for you? No. Hmm. Nothing. Well, you got a dead rat in your pants, mister. Hey, uh, you guys want another round? Uh, I don't know, Peter. It's getting kind of late. Oh, please don't make me go home and disappoint my wife yet again. It's terrible, guys. I tried the pills he gave me, but even they didn't work. Well, look at it this way, Peter. Without sex, you'll have more time to do the things you've always wanted to do. Peter, I am going to help you beat impotence. We can do this together. Thanks, Quagmire, because this sucks. So we're going to try the Boston method. What's that? Well, basically, some dirtbag from Boston yells at your junk to scare it into working again. Listen, I could be nice about this, or I could get my brother. And he did some serious time for throwing a turkey off a bridge into a car. It's, it's not working. Are you sure this is going to work, Quagmire? Of course. This isn't the first time I've rigged up a sex puppet. I now have full control over your genitals. Lois, I'm ready. Uh -huh. <gasps> Peter! A little more to the left. Come on, Quagmire. You were a Navy pilot for six years. Land this thing! Nothing seems to be working, you guys. Is it gonna be like this forever? Yes. No. Yes.
There's only one thing that's gonna restore your masculinity. We gotta get you your old job back. It was a mistake for me to ever take that promotion. I'm not the one who drove a forklift into a conference room and sent two people to the hospital. Come on, since this man lost his job, he can't pleasure his wife. Promise to work harder than ever before, and I could remind you that one day you might be in my shoes and maybe you'll need a second chance, but I'm not gonna do that. Welcome back, Griffin. Aww. Who's that? Oh, I hired a studio audience to do your old job. Now go away, I'm working. You don't have to anymore because I got my old job back. Peter, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, the bread's all soft and doughy, isn't it? And the inside of the bag's always wet because those hairy dummies put it in too hot. So I went to the library and picked up three books by the greatest author of the last thousand years, Stephen King. The year was 1955. Anyone else fed up with this oversaturation of media? Three channels and still nothing on. He was the leader of our gang. He had sex when he was five and committed his first rape when he was 10. Rape, of course, being legal in the 50s. You guys want to see a dead body? Anything was possible as we set out that day, except contracting AIDS, because AIDS had not yet been invented by the government. We decided to cut through old man Pressman's junkyard. Chopper, sick him! Sick him, boy! <laughs> Fuck that! Man, this trip is dangerous. Couldn't we have just taken a bus? Black <laughs> guy. Cleve grew up and went on to marry Rebecca Romaine. Actually, I'm not even joking about that. Quag grew up to become a famous Hollywood actor. Unfortunately, about a week ago, he took an overdose of designer drugs at the Viper Room. And now for a segment we like a little less than the first and the last. Here's Misery. Snuggly Jeff is the most successful children's book series ever. Yeah, but I want to get into writing more serious stuff. This just in. The Weather Service has reported a big snowstorm on its way. <laughs> I'm your number one fan. I'm your number one fan. Oh, oh, oh. You know, I am a huge Snuggly Jeff fan. I've read all the books. Great. Hey, uh, can you hear me? My cell phone was destroyed in the accident. I was wondering if I could read it, then kill you if I hate it? Well, I guess that'd be okay. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I read it while I touch your ear and suck my thumb? <laughs> I just finished the book, you dirty birdie. How could you? He can't be dead. Write Snuggly Jeff back to life, Mr. Man. Look, Stewie, first of all, you're insane. And second of all, I have to be inspired before I write. No, 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 this won't do, Paul. You can't just have Snuggly Jeff magically brought back to life by a child's wish. Start over! Fine, but you're gonna have to go into town and get me some more paper. I'm all out. I don't know, Paul. Let me see if I can get the big wheel started. The first time I laid eyes on Andy Dufresne, I didn't think much of him. Welcome to Shawshank Prison. I'll be your warden. And even though I'm the only character in this movie who's not a criminal, I will be the bad guy. All right, lights out, ladies! Andy said two words to somebody. As it turned out, that somebody was me. Vagina boob. I need stuff. Can you get it? What do you need? I need a rock hammer. What's it for? I carve Star Wars figurines out of stone. You Andy Dufresne? A little bit. You? <laughs> I'm just jiggling your balls. What can I do for you? I understand you make Star Wars figurines. I'll even cripple that guy who rapes you in the shower. But I like that guy. Too late. <coughs> oh, my legs! He landed a cushy job cleaning the warden's office. Okay, you clean up the warden's office while I go pop out a pine cone. Look, Warden, we got it rough in here. I just thought we could use a little music. Music is expressly forbidden inside prison walls. I'm getting out of here tonight, Red. I'm gonna take the poop pipe to the crap swamp. Up in a hayfield in Buxton, Maine, under an old oak tree, there's a rock that has no earthly business being there. Inspection!
Dufresne? Where is he? Where the hell is Dufresne? I don't know, sir. Hey, we have almost the same voice. Excuse me, I'm the prison doctor. I'm here for Andy's checkup. God, I'm so angry I could just throw a rock at that poster of David Cassidy. Andy crawled to freedom through 500 yards of foulness I can't even imagine. Do you believe in your best judgment that you have been rehabilitated? Rehabilitated? It's just a stupid made-up word. You let me out of here, first thing I'm gonna do is kill again. Walk along the stone wall until you reach the tree, and that's where you'll find the rock. If you've come this far, maybe you're willing to go a little further. You remember the name of the town in Mexico, right? Shit! Oh, oh, is that right? Is it? No, oh, no, not him either. What the hell is that jag off? It's like 1200 bucks in that box. Well, that's our show. Thank you, Stephen King. We'll see you in court. Now stay tuned for whatever Fox is limping to the barn with. The Travel Channel presents Backpacking Through Europe with a Bow-Legged Man in Short Shorts. Hello, come. Let's see some beautiful sights together. I was thinking we could spend some time together. Okay, are you a television set or the internet? No. Oh, then no. No, thank you. But you promised we'd go fishing. Ah, uh, Chris, I was just lying to you so you'd go away. He's your son. Don't you want someone to bond with? No, I only form unspoken bonds. That was my mom. She said that Daddy broke his leg. How? Apparently, he got hurt at the mall. I'm the champ at doing this. Ow! You jinxed me! Ah, oh, damn it! Hey, call that beeping cart! So, are you gonna go take care of him, Mom? I can't go. I've got to go get my hair very minutely changed and then spend the next 14 hours trying to get people to notice. I was actually thinking that maybe you could go help Daddy. Well, not me, Mom. Last time I was at Grandpa's, I beat him at checkers and he punched one of my Hogan's. Hey, Chris, are you okay? Holy crap, it smells like farts in here. Those are my farts. Why doesn't Dad ever want to spend time with me? He just has trouble expressing his emotions. You know, Chris, you've got a Grandpa who could use your help right now. I'm sure he'd enjoy spending time with you. I I'm so bored. I can't sleep. I, I just have to lie here and wait for my stupid leg to heal. And the worst part about it is I can't have sex. That was amazing. You can do it basically whenever you're not doing something else. Cool. Hey, next time I want to try it with my hand. Hey, I got an idea. Let's put in two different orders and have them race. <gasps> you think it'll crash the system? Only one way to find out. Your money is in this pile of mashed potatoes. Eat your way out. No hands. This is fun, Chris. I like hanging out with you. Sorry I'm late. Look, Jason, are you taking this seriously? Because Chris and I take this seriously. You know, if you're not going to show up to rehearsal, we'll find someone else who will. Paul's mentholiptus. You can feel it in your nose. That's how you know it's a medicated cough drop and not just a candy. Listen, Chris, I really want to thank you for coming to take care of me and helping me get well again. What? You're not going to take the money? No, I don't want your money. I had fun hanging out with you. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not supposed to be doing this. I bet we're not supposed to be doing this. Name my grandson Chris the sole heir to the Pewterschmidt fortune. Oh, what? My. Daddy, you're seriously leaving your entire estate to Chris? I, I mean, what about Mom? I promise she'll be dead before I am. I promise. Listen, Carter, you take me out of your will, I'm taking you out of mine. That was your birth certificate. Oh, no. <gasps> There's no light. I would give all the money to charity. Oh, yeah? Which charity? Well, there are just so many that do such great work. Name just one. Um. But in the end, it's his money, so who really cares? Well, yeah, but... <laughs> but what? Peter, did you marry me for my money? Anyway, I don't plan on losing out on any of that money. So if you ask me, we gotta start sucking up to Chris right away. What? What are you talking about? Hey, hey, there he is. Oh, boy, hot dogs and Nintendo, huh, Chris? Dad, what are you doing? How about you and me do a secret handshake that has way too many steps to remember, all right? Okay, shake, bump, bump, slap, hitchhiker, shimmy, shimmy, sham, sham, shake, 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 bump, something smells, and shake again. Okay, ready? Oh, my God, it's nighttime. Hey, Chris, hey, you remember that kid you said was bullying you at school? Well, here's his head. Ah! That's not even him! That's the deaf kid! I am gonna show you a film comedy from my youth that won't hold up.
Welcome to the classic comedy, Meatballs. All right, you know what? Forget it. I'm just gonna take my VCR, my VCR head cleaning tape, my VCR head cleaning spray, my head cleaning rag, and my rewinder, and just get the hell out of here. Hey, you guys. Jeez, Peter, you look exhausted. Well, Carter kind of decided he's gonna leave all his money to Chris, so I've been trying to get on his good side. I even cleaned his room for him the other day. Wish I hadn't done that. I say good for Chris and whatever lucky girl he ends up marrying. Yeah, or lucky guy if he ends up being gay. Lucky guy? Chris, Chris, wake up. I have something very important to ask you. Chris Griffin, will you marry me? What? I mean, aren't men supposed to marry women? No, no, no. That's just all of human history except for the last five months. It's time to settle down and simplify things, like maybe having one ATM card and one bank account. Say yours. Oh. I get it. Yes, I will marry you, Dad. Oh, that's wonderful news. It used to belong to your mother. It's a petition to force that hot mom to wear something appropriate at PTA meetings. Oh, thank God. So now you know my complete sexual history, Chris. Wow, I'm surprised you got fooled by a bear in a wig. It wasn't a wig, it was a hair system. So, should we get started with your bridal registry? Yeah, um, I'd like to furnish my kitchen as if I'm the greatest chef in the world, even though I've never cooked before. <laughs> That's what we do. Yeah, we're looking to plan our post-wedding Sunday breakfast, you know, when everyone's sick of us. Of course. Excellent. Do you have a table for the couple that barely made it through the weekend without breaking up? Will there be a physically frail fall-down uncle? Indeed, and we'd like to have him walk through a maze of chair legs. Anything else? I'm excited for your first dance. And now we're ready to add music. What's your song? March, 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 march! Can you feel the soldiers, Chris? So many have fallen, and this is why they were fighting. It was nice of the guests at the cat funeral to stay for our wedding. Yeah, and I bet you're especially happy we're getting married on a Thursday. School yuck, right? Chris, to express my love, I turn to the words of the only poet that blue-collar New England scumbags like me know, Robert Frost. Thank you. Chris? Stop the wedding! Lewis, how did you find out about this? Peter, you cannot do this. You cannot marry your son. I don't care how much money Daddy's left him. Don't listen to your mother, Chris. It's because of her we have bedtimes. But I don't care. Dad and I spent more time together planning this wedding than we ever had before. Wow. Oh, boy, I've been a real jerk. I'm sorry, Chris. Well, let's all go home.